Hello people, this is Mark from Color Changeworks. Guys, hope that you are well. In today's little short story, it's all about a, uh, a father who would do whatever he could to see to his daughter's needs because he loved her. He goes out and does something quite bizarre. And as the story unfolds, as we read it in a minute, it's got a twist in the end to where the daughter says what she feels. Interesting. Guys, before we do that, guys, I want to ask you just to do all the YouTube admin, the liking, the sharing, the subscribing and commenting. Hit the bell, pick all. That way you'll be notified every time that we upload a video on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's get into this little story. Parable of the White Horse There was a certain farmer who loved his daughter and wanted to give her all that she would ever want. One day his daughter asked for the most beautiful white horse in the entire world. He was distraught because he knew that the horse was located beyond the woods, where the wolves and the thieves were always in lurking. He did not know what to do. So we went to the village and found an old friend who knew of another beautiful white spotted horse. It was not as beautiful as the one that the daughter wanted to have. He took a chance and bought the horse. He thought of an idea to buy the white paint from the local village store and paint over the spots of the horse. He then brought the horse to his farm and tied the horse near the cow's water feed. He came inside the, the house and called for his daughter to come outside with him. As he came out with his daughter, he realized the horse had played with the water feed and all the paint over the spots were disappearing. He did not know what to say to his daughter and all he could do at that point was to apologize that he did not get her what she wanted. He began to cry as these words came from his daughter. Dad, I don't really care about the horse as I much care that you did all this for me. All I ever needed was to be shown that you care for me. Thank you for this horse. Isn't that a nice representation of what a true parent will do for their children? The problem with today's world and most world <coughs> children... They don't understand the love that their parents have for them. Up until, of course, they themselves become parents. Then, all of a sudden, when they then look back at why the parents did what they did, motivated by love, of course, hopefully, that things then make sense. You see, children don't understand that a parent will do whatever it takes. To make sure that the children get whatever they might need. Children are often ungrateful for that what is done for them. Because it's not right. It's not good enough. It's not beautiful enough. It's not sparkly enough. It hasn't got the right label. It hasn't got this. It hasn't got that. Oh, it has this. It shouldn't have. All these excuses that come along the way when you... Do your best as a parent for your children. This story, however, is a little bit different. The dad could not get her the horse that she wanted. The dad did whatever he could. The dad tried to create this second horse to look like the first because he didn't really want to disappoint his daughter. And it is these extremes that parents will go to to demonstrate their love and their affection and care for their children. It's true. The daughter in this particular story really didn't care about what horse she would get in the end. 
All she really needed to know is that her dad would do something to demonstrate that he loved her. You see, at this point, I'm going to ask you to look at the love language series that Lara did so eloquently some time ago, where she sees some people's love language is touch and time, and others are uh, gifts, and others are words of affirmation. She did a really fantastic series. Go and have a look at it. And what this daughter needed was not the horse. It was the effort. It was the act that her dad wanted to dem that she wanted her dad to demonstrate that he loved her. When he painted the paint on the horse to camouflage the the spots on this particular horse, the daughter couldn't care less. The reasons for this is simple. She noticed, she recognized, and she also made it known that she recognized that the dad had done whatever he could to show her his love for her. And if there are any children who are watching this particular video, let me tell you, your parents will do whatever they can. It's not always possible to do whatever we want. But we do it because we love our kids. And sometimes it is saying no. Sometimes it's saying yes. And other times it is not yet. But when children understand that whatever parents do is because they love them, then children will end up like the daughter in this particular story, who was grateful. In today's society, my friend, I see that there are a lot of children who think that they deserve more. This I cannot get enough attitude. So and so has got a such and such. I only have a this and that. It breaks my heart when I see people abuse their money when they've got loads and they just spoil the kids. Breaks my heart. Equally, I see it when people who have very little do as much as they possibly can and the children are equally ungrateful. It also breaks my heart in that instance too. And I wish there was a solution where both those extremes could actually meet in the middle and get married there. Where children are grateful for what they are given. And the parents appropriately spend their money. You see, to my mind, the most important thing that you can give your children is time. Money really doesn't do much. It's the memories. It's the time. That is really the important thing. Unfortunately, a lot of memories are made as a result of spending money. Nowadays, you can't do anything without spending money. You go from point A to point B and it's going to cost you petrol money or some kind of transport costs. Ice creams and something to drink and something to eat. Not that that's the issue. The point I'm making here is everything in the world is surrounded by the letting go of finances. However, that what you cannot ever get back, which is time, in my mind, is the demonstration of love. That willingness to put aside your agenda, to accommodate their agenda, in my eyes, is the ultimate way of demonstrating love and affection and care to the children that you, we all have. So all I want to say in this particular video is making sure that we as parents do our utmost to address our needs to the children. No, I didn't say that right. Address the children's needs as best as we possibly can. 
because they're only young for a very short period of time. And hopefully, they will remember those good times in spite of being blighted by many a problem in this world today. As we know, it is full of stress and full of pressure and this whole need to fit in. It's a sad place this world is when I consider it from different points of view, in spite of its beauty. That's all I want to say here, is appreciate your children and do whatever you possibly can to make them memories that will last a lifetime. Like I said at the beginning of this video, please do all the YouTube admin, please do all the sharing, subscribing, please keep your family informed. If you find that this video has been use useful for yourself, and they might too, um, send it on. Thank you for your time. For now, this is Mark from Colors Changeworks. I'll speak to you soon.